All right. Eight five niner Tango whiskey. You have to refile too, because I was filed. Let me just make sure. All right, whatever. Refile. Okay, and let's go down to. Let's move our plane. Hopefully, this doesn't hurt. That's good. And let's go. Yeah, with the auto that takes a while since they're on my other hard drive to load. All right, looks good there. We got a flight plan filed. Let's just get going. Okay, everything looks good up top. Everything too great. Micro parking brake set. Gears down. AC lead throw dump is guarded. Alternate static is fully in. Ram air is in. Manual override fully back. Throttles are full aft. Flaps are up. Tanks on the left. Essential bus is guarded closed. And all the circuit breakers are good to go. And emergency gear handle is closed. So let's go ahead and finish our walk around. Pull the chocks out. Everything looks good. 
You know, I do want to check it. Oh, I got to put some fuel in this thing real quick. Should be good enough. That looks good. All right, claps are cl uh, claps. Caps are closed. Tires are looking good. Struts good. Airframe looks good. Leading edge looks good. Tires, struts, and statics. ELT is there. Oxygen tank is connected. Looking good. Lights and movements for everything. It looks good. Alright, everything looks good down. And let's get in. Warning, okay. And hold short instructions. All VFR departures, contact clearance delivery with your aircraft type, initial heading, and requested cruise altitude. Advise on initial contact you have Yankee. Santa Barbara Muni information Yankee. 2353 Zulu. Test. Wind okay. 160 at 3. Visibility 8. Sky clear below 1 2000. Temperature 1 9 er. Dew point 1 4. Altimeter 2 9 er 9 er 5. Visual approach runway 1 5 left, 1 5 right, 2 5, in use. Okay, we got the ATIS. 2 9 er 9 er 5. Should be at 13 feet. Come on. I have two nine nine or five there. Oh, I was in the wrong direction there. Okay. Two nine nine five, two nine nine five, that's set. Let's get our clearance. Can pull it up at uh one thirty two point nine. Santa Barbara Clearance, TVN 859 er Tango Whiskeys, IFR to Monterey. TVN 859 er Tango Whiskey, Santa Barbara Clearance, good evening. Clear to the Monterey Airport, Couch 1, departure, Bora Bay, transition, then is filed. Client V6, I maintain 3000. Departure frequency 120.55, squawk 4075. TBM 859er Tango Whiskey is clear to Monterey. Gaucho 5, more bay transition than as filed. Climb via the city set, maintain 3000. Departure precinct 120.55, squawk 4075. God, that was. TBM 9er Tango Whiskey is verify the uh, departure, Gaucho 1, departure Morro Bay. Gauch 1, I think I said 5, but yeah, Gauch 1 to Morro Bay, TBM 859er Tango Whiskey. Five nine or Tango Whiskey, we back correct. Or one five zero seven Charlie Depart. Right. Oh, it's the flout five. That's why I was saying five. Thinking five. All right, so we got that in there. 
We can put, uh, just real quickly before we turn on anything else. Zero 07 Charlie, it's Depart Oceanside, heading 085, Vector Stefano. Um, it's a four zero seven five. Over two zero eight Echo Romeo Yuma Airport, one o'clock, one six miles of Isra New Film site. Alright. Over eight Echo Romeo Roger in there right down one runway two six contact Yuma Tower on uh one one nine point three good night. Test our lights. Clearance rover seven two IFR McCarran. Okay, looks good. Seven two Victor Vogue, clearance. Good evening. On request, standby. We're Victor Vogue ground. Ten hertz. That's from Nellis. One hertz. Looks good. You and Tower. Good evening. Good Landing gear down. MFT uh, has been initialized, and I did check the database, so that's good. Two zero Echo Romeo, you and Tower. Good evening. And, uh, runway two six, cleared land. Cleared land two six, eight Echo Romeo. We will delete our flight plan. We'll create a new one. And yeah, Echo Romeo, wind is calm. Roger that. It's going to Over be. Seven, just verify you're looking for uh, clearance out of Victorville for uh, uh, Lima Sierra Victor. MQO. So we'll type that in. Victorville to Lima Sierra Victor, Nellis. Roger, New York, got type T38. Affirmative. Single ship. Roger, thanks. Uh, be right back with you. To so the Victor 27. As for 2933, only 2462. Then we're going to get off at PEBS. She's a while. That's the other way. So PEBS is north. That's a 64642 heavy contact departure. Okay, that's Mark. our whole flight plan right there. That looks good. We'll check it out in a second. Procedure uh, is going to be. Good evening, climbing 10510. Okay, and then we're going to do the gouch one. Um. I don't know which runway. Well, let's probably take one five, but we can always switch it. One five right, two more obey. That looks good. So, departure procedure to gouch, and then from there, departure, departure. Six four forty two heavy. So, got departure. Say altitude. Okay, we're just scrolling through real quick. Seems quick, but it's actually there. And then the next thing I need to do is. Going to be. Okay, what your altitude is supposed to be. Alright, so 6442 heavy possible pilot deviation, climb via the SID. Okay, I got Monterey in there. And that's it. Now, question is do we have. San Luis Tower, 71720, Papa, six miles southwest, inbound with Yankee yeah, Tide. Just wondering if it had the <laughs> visuals in there or not. It doesn't. That's fine. We're good there. So flight plan looks good. How's 172 Sierra Papa calling? Just on 172 Sierra Papa, six miles southwest inbound with Yankee. Type is Cessna 172. Okay, calling with that call sign. There is nobody connected with that call sign. Check your call sign. They have a 43 X ray Sierra about six miles to the south. Is that you? Definitely a good idea. Check your call sign. Okay, 3,000. Our gouch one, it, or gouch one is going to... calling south of uh, St. Louis. Go ahead and log off. Check your call sign. Make sure you're calling with the same call sign you logged in with, and then try again. So 6442, you should be climbing via the SID. Uh, so you're still at 5,000. Okay, we're going to set that... Let's set 3,000. We have... Thing looks good, and it's going to be an RNAV, so we're good there. Alright, we're set for our departure. This is our departure, real quick. You can take a look. You can also take a look here. Let's take it down and go to Couch. Oh, 6442, you copy? And there it is. Um, if we go, hold on a second. Rotate to the right. Delta 6442, departure. Put on full screen. Increase that. There we go. There's our departure. 
So, you can get rid of that one. And basically, departure 15 right climb, heading 152 to 520 feet, then right turn direct to Cork. Then on the track, uh, 254 to Kinsey. And then, um, and then basically from Kinsey, it's going to be on a track 331 to cross Gouch at or above 6,000 vents. And maintain uh, ATT assigned altitude. Expect higher altitudes within 10 minutes after departure. There we go. No questions on the departure. And um, no questions here. So departure is good. Taxi will be as, let's see if we can rotate that one as well. Rotate right. And this will be our taxi. We are currently right here. I'm expecting a taxi Charlie to 15 right. Or Taxi Charlie, I think Juliet, let me see. Taxi Ju Charlie Juliet 25. And if we have to switch to 25, we'll, we have to switch our departure on the, on there. Weather, current weather um, is showing uh, 170 and 8 miles visibility and 295. We're set for 295, looks good. Everything else looks good. The TAF looks great. Continue on. All right. Like I said, current here, we'll make a U-turn and taxi back, hopefully to 1-5 right, if possible. All right, fuel on board checked, 75 per side. That's good. ITT is 219. We're going to have to do a motoring start. Um, and then volts look good, and cast messages is as required. Victor, seven two, Victor. So yeah, you still have us there for uh, our IFR. Let's do our before start check real quick. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do a motoring start, which is ignition is going to go to off. Over seven two, clear to the on. airport. Not sure uh, on that's still on. Two five zero, expect to Victor to the Victor O V O R. Then as okay, filed. prop area clear. Okay, uh, we're watching. ITT should come to down. Timer uh, needs Joshua to be set. One, Got maximum one. 30 seconds. Roper 72 is clear to the Nellis Airport. Van departure heading 250 radar vectors. Victor Hill as filed. Okay, that looks good. Expect level 25010 after 126.1, squawk 1741. Roper 72, read that correct and sorry for the delay. That's alright. Alright, watching our timer. Let's do a quick reset on that. One five zero seven Charlie descent and maintain four thousand. Okay, fifty within one minute and one thirty within thirty seconds, that looks good. ITT was great. All the way through the rise. All right, looks good. Victor, ground rope for 72, east ramp, members taxi. Rope 72, Victor, ground, good evening. Uh, runway 21, taxi via Charlie Alpha. 21 via Charlie Alpha, Rope 72. It flaps 10, check fuel, all right. Everything looks good here. Look for the amp. We're at 107 right now, so it's going to take a minute to charge, so we'll make sure it's uh, above 50 before we take off. Inert SEP is actually in place. That looks good. Engine start completed. After start checklist. <coughs> Throttle is set. Oil pressure is good to go. OxBP is auto, fuel selector is auto, and we can do a fuel system shift test. It's currently on the right. Flip this over, make sure it's on the left, and that's checked. Generators are on main, checked, and make sure it's actually... Main generator is... And Yuma Tower, just to double check, uh, ADAC room is clear. Sorry, Mar uh, main ADAC generator is on with 92 amps. Looks clear good. Still charging. Bleeds are on. AC's on. Nurt steps on. And 
After start checklist completed. Before taxi checklist. Standby instruments are checked. Currently 20 feet, 299 out of 5. And attitude looks good on it. DI system. Um, we can do a test. We're not going to need it today, but we can actually do a test here. Okay, timer for st we're going to do 90 seconds. Uh, 7 Charlie, turn right, heading Right, looks good Charlie enough for me. <coughs> Top D ice is off. Windshield heat. We'll put that on real quick. Make sure that comes on. Both lights coming on. And turn that off. Set. One five zero seven Charlie. Turn right heading two one zero. Push our torque up just a little bit. Uh, you have a tire, do you mind if Ada Romeo go all the way to the end here? Alright, AG's Romeo, plus. Yep, uh, left at the end and taxi ramp via Zulu. Airframe DI. Left at the end on Zulu to the ramp, Ada Romeo, thank all you right, much. Alright, let's take a look. No problem, have a good night. Take it easy. Alright, boots. Boots, looks right, good. 1507 Charlie, three and a half miles from Escon, descend to maintain 3,500 uh, on the localizer. Cleared ILS runway 24 approach. Everything looks good right now. All right, we'll go ahead and turn that off. Zero seven, Charlie. The altitude is three thousand. Should be waiting, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and reset our timer. All right, DI system is good. Inert SEP is on. Flight controls. Yeah, you're off on the heading. Should be heading at two one zero to join. Left, right, right, left, and then up, down. Feels good to me. Trim chest. Okay. We'll do a quick trim down, or nose down, nose up. That looks good. Take off, alar and right, alar and left. That looks good. Rudder right, of rudder left. That looks good. We'll set rudder for takeoff. Flaps are good. AP trims are set. Fuel on board is good. Flight plan has been loaded. LFE selection for Monterey 255 looks good. Um, our VHF, we're currently on, we need to switch over to ground, 121.7. Okay, that's set, and then tower is on 119.7. Roper 72, Victorville Tower, good evening, uh, runway 21, clear for takeoff, wind call. Hey, right, that's set. Transponder set and departure currently um, on the departure. Roper 72, change the departure. Radar is on standby. Alternator set and let's do a quick feather test, even though we've done this before. This wasn't our first flight today, but we're going to do it anyways, just for practice. Should have that in flight idle. All right. Feather once. We'll just do it one time today. Since it is our third flight of the day. That looks good. Passenger briefing has been completed. Let's go ahead and just turn around real quick. And make sure. There we go. Everything looks secure back there. Taxi lights coming on. Alright, and 
we have the weather, we have Yankee, and I'm ready for taxi. Santa Barbara Ground, a TBM 859 or Tango Whiskey at the northwest ramp with the weather taxi. Yeah, we're 85, Niner Tango Whiskey, Santa Barbara Ground. Good evening, uh, runway 25, Texas via Hotel Juliet. Cross one 15 right and 15 left on the hotel. 25 via Hotel Juliet, cross 15 right and left at Hotel TBM 85 Niner Tango Whiskey. Alright, that's fine. Okay. Here we go. And we can show a chart. So, Hotel. Oh, so we're going to do hotel. Hour, okay. That's fine. Coming back on the taxi Four, range. Five, zero, seven, Charlie, Panama, Tara, good evening. The wind 2105, runway 24, Kurt Lane. 24, keep it in. Clear. Clear. So this is hotel here. Over 72, Joshua, departure radar contact, turn left heading 0, nine or zero. All right, any questions on the departure? What we can do here, we got to switch procedures. We're going to go to departure. It's going to be the gouch one. And it's going to be runway 25. Load. There it is. All right, so let's check our departure. Four, two, five. So two, five. We're gonna fly runway heading two, five, five. Direct apples resume on navigation. Two, five, five. Looks good. To five hundred twenty feet, and then direct to Gur. <laughs> And then Gouch, uh, 6,000 or above. And then from there it's going to be Speak. And then Morro Bay. Looks good. Alright, we can push it up a little bit. Clear. Clear. And clear left. Clear right. Contact uh, Los Angeles Center 125.27. Okay, P dotes are good. Steps on, trims are set for takeoff, flaps set for takeoff, AC bleeds are as required, fuel gauges are checked, amps are good to go. They are below 50. Do a quick standby t test real quick. And we're on the standby generator. 39 amps. That looks good. Let's put it back to the uh, main. Okay, five, that go. looks good. Let's stay on the taxiway if we can. Looking for Juliet, Roper which is right two, here. Okay, LFE five, set five, for five, the landing five. field and... Altimeters are set. Squawk is set, and Sid has been. Over seven two, Roger, thank you. Let's go ahead and switch over to Just tower, and then we can go to one twenty five five. Nature of being a pilot, right?
Santa Barbara Tower, TBM 859 or Tango Whiskey is ready for departure 25. TBM 859 or Tango Whiskey, Santa Barbara Tower, good evening, wing call, only 25, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff 25, TBM 859 or Tango Whiskey. That's kind of hard to say. All right, we've been cleared and we're set. All right, Toga set. Long Beach uh, Clarence, this is Skyline 9921 Echo. Looking to pick up my Clarence uh, to Oxnard. Clarence 9921 Echo, Long Beach Clarence, good evening. Uh, look at your tech route. Take a look at the tech route again and look. Uh, pay attention to the notes section. It says this tech route is only available for landing east at, uh, is when the LAX is in the east operation. So take a look at that. Okay, here we go. Okay, we'll do. Uh, it's 9921 Echo. Okay, 50% yeah, torque. Notes are important for the tech routes. Okay, RPM's good. Everything else is in the green, looking great. Let's roll. Okay, Th throttle set, trying to stay on the runway if I can. Airspeed's alive. Instruments are in the green, we're hauling butt. 90 knots, there we go, let's rotate. I pause the rate, gear coming up. Looking for 520, then we can go direct. You too. Okay, the gear's up. What's that, 117 flaps coming up? Yaw dampener on. Trims look set. Okay, nav mode is set. Autopilot's coming on. And we can climb. That looks good for the climb for now. Thousand to go. I'm not sure why my cabin rates it's coming down now, but uh it's probably because I was in a different area. All right, looking good. Speed's coming alive. We're at 3,000. Santa Barbara Tower, TV, 859 or Tango Whiskey. 859 or Tango Whiskey, contact departure. Go to departure, 859 or Tango Whiskey. So cut departure, T ABM 859 or Tango Whiskey 3000. Tango Whiskey, so cut departure, radar contact, climb maintain 8000. Update 1000, 859 Tango Whiskey. <laughs> it's easy for me to say. Okay, got 6000. I'm going to climb at 170 will be good. Actually, we'll. Yeah, 170 is a good speed. It's looking good there. Okay, so we're set. Let me set this here. We're set. GPS and climbing at 171. Okay, Alts Camper. Tango whiskey, clear direct to Morro Bay, VOR. Clear direct Morro Bay, 859 Tango Whiskey. So we go here, now we can go down, all the way down here, Morro Bay, go direct, and enter. Roper 72, cross 35 uh, miles to the southwest of the Las Vegas VOR, and maintain 111,000. See here now, turn and direct to Morro Bay, looks good. Roper 72, Las Vegas, South America, 2900, 900. Easy enough, right? If you know how to program your systems and you've done it enough times, it can be easy enough. Anyways, GPS, autopilot with the odd jammer, flight, uh, 
Thirty-five-five-eight-nine or Tango Whiskey. This is my new call sign, so it just—it's kind of hard for me to remember or listen up for this call sign. So, gotta get used to it. Los Angeles Center, TBM 859er, Tango Whiskey, 5,500, climbing to 8,000. TBM 859er, Tango Whiskey, Los Angeles Center, good evening, climbing to St. Pablo 230. To fly level 230, 859er, Tango Whiskey. All right, we're set. So we got GPS, flight climb 170, alts captured, flight level 230. We're 5,700, 800, and climbing, we're direct to Morro Bay. Push up the torque. Actually, I want to keep it at 84. Sep's coming off. About 40 seconds to go by. We'll go ahead and keep an eye on that for 40 seconds. Just making sure I don't get my torque going. Too high there. Everything else is in the green. I didn't realize TVMs could go up today. I can climb, baby. <laughs> Taking it right to the service ceiling, huh? Yeah, I can get up to flight level 310. Yeah, they realized that they could go up that high. It's pretty cool. And only 18 minutes, that's not bad at all. So I keep on the, the rate for some reason. Alright, my pressure. Hmm. Not sure how to, f what to do. So hold on. I'm going to look at this. Okay, you can pass it through 10,000. I can turn off my landing lights now. Oops. Proper 72, contact LA Center 134.65. So, Three, four, six, five, represent. I'm going to look for pressurization. Let's see. And we're looking for LA its center, rate. 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 Who is that? Pressurization indicator checked. Okay, I don't have a 172 Sierra Papa connected to the network. Check your call sign. Put my oxygen mask on. I'm over 10,000 feet. I wonder if it's because my I didn't have my oxygen on. All right, so let's go through the checklist here. Pressure you checked. If cabin altitude is over 10,000. Use oxygen mask. Fly the airplane. Bleed switch. Check for auto. It's set. Dump switch. Check norm. Guarded. Checked. Emergency rammer check pushed, and it's checked. If EDM displayed. Two one echo clear to the Oxnard Airport on departure right. flight heading two seven zero. Expect rate of interest is Steel Beach VOR. Then is filed. Climb and maintain three thousand. Expect four thousand five minutes after departure. Departure will be SoCal one two eight point one. Squawk six seven zero three. Uh, departure frequency 128.1, squawk 6703. 
Yeah, it's not working. Okay. I I have to emergency descent. Echo, read that, correct? Los Angeles Center, TBM 859er Tango Whiskey. I need to uh, do emergency descent down to 10,000. Approach 125.9. 125.9, approach 17. Yeah, my, look at my cabin altitude is getting way too much. Not sure what's going on here with my pressure. Approach 72, Las Vegas approach, uh, altimeter 299, everybody's on the other end of the Nellis weather. All right, let's do this real quick. Also, from my toss. All right, let's knock that out. Just make sure I'm not going to run into anything. Los Angeles Center, uh, TBM 859er at Tango Whiskey's have an issue. I need it to send down at 10,000. Response. Huh. Not sure what to do at this point. Los Angeles Center, TBM 859 or Tango Whiskey. How do you read? A firm at 859 or Tango Whiskey. I've been trying to get all the. Uh, I, I need to do emergency descent down to below 10,000 here. Car of 859 or Tango Whiskey uh, Center. Los Angeles Center, TBM 859 or Tango Whiskey. Yes, have an uh, emergency need to descent down to 10,000. If I'm going to take a whiskey rush, maintain 10,000 in a state of nature of emergency. Having a lack of cabin pressure, so I need to maintain 10,000 for now until I figure this problem out. If I'm going to take a whiskey, Roger, and uh, maintain 10,000 and, and advise. We'll advise. Uh, can you give me another squat code? I, yeah, I wasn't get, able to get a hold of you because I had my gas, my mask on. That was my problem. If I'm going to take a whiskey, Roger, you say you need, need a, you need another squat code. Yeah, if you don't want the 7700 up, if you can give me another one, that'd be great. Uh, we're uh, we're or Tango Whiskey, squawk 5452. 5452, 859 or, eight, five, or Tango Whiskey. Yeah, I forgot to put my mask switch on there. That's awesome. Uh, okay, so... 
So let's go to the transponder. Niner, Niner, two, one, Nick, uh, Long Beach ground, you called ready taxi. Five, four, five, two. Cover Niner, Niner, two, one, Nick, runway three, zero, taxi via Golf and Lima. Okay, mask can come off. Over 72 vectors right down wind, we'll fly heading 020. Okay, so one zero thousand speeds going up. Wow. Yeah, so I put my mask on and I couldn't get a hold of them, but I forgot. Put your mask on. You have to put the mask microphone on. So no wonder I could get a hold of them. Anyways, alright. So for some reason I'm having an issue climbing so let's see here okay, everything looks good on the general electrics not gonna tell me anything see I'm showing 10,000 feet my cabin it's not let me see something here It's going to be 10,000 because I'm at 10,000, but... Pressurization. Hmm. Why would that? Do I have a leak on my? That looks closed. That's closed. I don't have any other leaks. Okay, uh, no problem, 132.55. Los Angeles Center, TBM 859. He's not going to be able to hear me because I don't. We're over 72, Mellis Tower, good evening. Check rolls down, one way, two on right, clear to land. And I'll have the winds here for you in a second. Number seven two, wind calm, altimeter two nine or nine or eight. Kirk at ten sixty four, Lumber Clinch. Hello, Lacey. My dog has been pestering me. She wants up on my lap. American 1064, Roger. Uh, sorry, question. Either that or outside, so. Yeah, 1064, you are nav capable, correct? Uh, you did, uh, you did file Lima. I just wanted to verify because you filed a non RNAV uh, departure, so it's probably you expect an RNAV departure out. Yeah, 1064, verify you have the Padres to departure. Roger.
American 1064, thank you, sir. Clear to San Francisco Airport, Padres 2 departure, IK transition, then as filed. Climb V to SID, departure frequency 119.6, squawk 4263. American 1064, read back, correct, have a good flight. Three, five, nine, Tango Whiskey, everything all right? Over 7-2 again, wait, calm, check rolls down. Alright. Anyways. TBM 859 or Tango Whiskey, just wondering status update. TBM 859 or Tango Whiskey. Um, looks like everything's cleared up here. I'd like to try to uh, climb back up if possible. What's your request altitude? I'd like to climb up to flight level 200, available. Tango Whiskey, climb maintain flight level 200. Up to flight level 200, 8, Tango Whiskey, thanks. See what happens here. Whoops. Man, I forget what buttons to hit sometimes. Okay, so. Kick to climb. Actually, we'll do flight. Legacy 122, Papa Tango, Los Angeles clearance, on request, standby. Alright, here we go. Cabin altitude. Nope, not gonna work. Nope. Let's take it back down. Yep, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Los Angeles Center, TBM 85, Nano Tango Whiskey. That's not going to work. I'm going to have to maintain 10,000 for the remainder of the flight. That's good because I, I already checked the charts already. I should be fine. All right, five nine Tango Whiskey, affirmative. Maintain one zero ten thousand. Contact Oakland Center one two eight point seven. One two eight point seven eight five nine or Tango Whiskey. I'll be there. Problem now. Yeah, but I did let them know what your uh, what your issue is. All right, thanks. Uh, have a good night. Uh, eight five nine or Tango Whiskey. Thanks, you too. Oakland Center 8, TBM 85, Niner Tango, Whiskey 10,000. Nine nine five eight uh, eight five nine or tango whiskey. I could just say my I I should have came up with a call sign that I can actually say. That's all right. But I'll get used to it.
is there a door leak somewhere? This I'm trying to think of. What if I open this right now? See what happened. Oh shit! Shoot. <laughs> Uh, awesome. Wow. All right. Well, I guess I'll be flying at ten thousand. Let's go ahead and keep an eye on where I'm at. Push up the throttle a little bit. Kirk looks good. Ninety-eight. Good enough. Alright. Give a look outside. Delta Oh, you know what I forgot to do? It's so loud. Need my headset on. There. All right, well, 10,000 is our highest altitude for now. We're having a pressurization problem. Not sure why. What did I do to my plane to cause a major pressurization problem? I'm wondering. Check out the system. So you can, I can actually watch myself fly in here. Pretty cool. If I had a way to do this a little gentler. Oh, wait. Let's see if I can move up just a hair. Probably not. Alright. Okay, good. Three fifty lines ready. Three fifty clips to Fontaine Airport. Yeah, it's on. It's on. No, no, don't. You don't feel bad, man. It's bleeds on. My intelligence it can't be insulted. <laughs> Sometimes you. This is my third flight today, so. Yeah, air conditioning wouldn't cause a pressurization problem, actually, though. But no, I went through the I went through the the, the checklist for my cabin out pressure check, and I went through everything. And I can I'll just read it to you. It says cabin out to cast messages followed by use oxygen mask and three voice messages. Use oxygen mask. In the case of cabin altitude is over 10,000, so if you see here, if I try to climb up more than 10,000, it's going to basically increase, and I've tried it twice now on this flight. And so it says pressurization indicator checked. No, air conditioning is just the, um, your bleed areas, but your, your air conditioning is just to keep you warm or cold, just the temperatures. I'm fairly certain, but I could be wrong. Yeah, it's 
I've been wrong before. So, um, yeah, so in, in, in my whole Calvin Altitude cast uh, check, it never once says anything about the air conditioning. So I'm fairly certain the air conditioning just basically either applies, allows colder air to flow to the cabin or warms up hotter air to, to the cabin. Pretty sure that's all that does. Um, yeah, these are both pushed. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Not really sure. Dang. Okay. I'm just checking that out. But yeah, that's pushed. That's your ram air. Yeah, if I try to climb at all right now, it's it's going to give me that warning. And thankfully, my route allows me to fly this Delta low. Just fine. I'll I'll go to um on my way uh, past um Big Sur. I'm going to request the. Uh, if I can, the Carmel. Oh yeah. Well, this w so what was happening earlier is my rate um, um, was it was giving me an error here, and it did on my last flight. But um, and I should have uh, that should have been a warning. It did on my last flight. I was I saw that this was having a problem. But I was—I only had to travel to six or eight thousand feet, so it, that doesn't matter. You're only going to get that cabin altitude pressure if the cabin altitude is the cabin altitude goes above ten thousand. So right now I'm at ten thousand, and so um, it happened to me the last couple of flights. So I'll have to check. Maybe I don't have any oxygen. I know it says oxygen pressure. It looks good, so that's good. I don't know. I have to take a look. But anyways, this is I was tr I wanted to try to do this right there, pick up that NDB and fly it. This would be kind of cool. So I'd be coming from the south, maybe hit, come around and fly that NDB. It's not really an NDB; it's just a visual approach. Um, so that would be kind of cool to make that left downwind. So with that said, I'm going to turn 385 into my nav 2. Get that ready to go just for the fun of it. So this is always fun. Zero. Delta 29.33, contact code like tower 119.05. Okay, enter twice. So we got 385 in there. I can actually go PFD, I can go bearing and pick that up now, actually. So once I pick that up, I should see it on my display here. Which is good. And let's get that off. There we go. So I got my ADF. It should show my needles in the two big fat needles style. I do know uh, Monterey area pretty well, so it should be easier for me to be basically look at my torque. Is at 100 exactly? Keep an eye on that. There we go. All right, let's get a look at back outside here. Such a beautiful looking plane too. 
Except for when I do views like that where I'm looking through the wing. I should probably check out where I'm at here. Real quickly, yeah, we're coming up on Big Sur. Nice mountains up in this area. All right, let's pick up the weather. Um, we'll go ahead and do that real quick for Monterey. We can then we can do our request. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. All VFR departures, contact clearance delivery with your aircraft type, initial heading, and requested cruise altitude. Advise on initial contact you have, Mike. Monterey Regional Information, Mike. Zero zero five four Zulu. Wind. 200 at 5. Visibility 3. Haze. Sky clear below 1 2000. Temperature 1 5. Dew point 9 er. Altimeter 2 9 er 9 er 7. Localizer 28 left approach in use. Landing and departing runway 28 left 28 right. Departing runway 28 left. 28 right. Read back all well, runway assignments and hold short. In they are in VFR condition so. Um, not sure. Whoops. Let me just redo this. It didn't say. Uh, it's minimal, m marginal. But I don't think X Plane is going to show the smoke as well as it probably should. But, yeah, I was trying to do, I want to do that caramel visual to create. But I don't know if they're going to get me down. So 3,000. So weather minimums 3,500 feet, ceiling. And five miles visibility. Hold on. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do that. Okay. So. Two nine and nine five. Advise when you have weather and approach the It's going to be that. Uh, Roger, we have the weather Ukiah and request the VOR Alpha approach in Ukiah. So we're going to have to go procedure. We're going to have to select the approach. Let's go get local. Hotel, good VOR Alpha approach. Report uh, procedure to an inbound. Barrows are going to be. All right, uh, clear view Alpha approach, uh, Ukiah, and report inbound. Uh, uh, 860. And a quick question: Do I have to do this published procedure turn? Hey, thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. So 1860. My plane's Scott doing something weird here. So 1860. We're going to put this in. I'll do the procedure turn. So for itself, thank you. All right. Roger. Actually, what I've noticed is that I got to do this way. We go off, and then back on, and then we can put um, Nate six in there, and then enter, and we're gonna load it. We're not gonna actually activate it, otherwise. I wonder if I can just pick it up from here. Yeah, I don't fly the two blenders all that often. Once in a while. Oakland Center TBM 859 or Tango Whiskey he has a weather and it's going to re actually request the uh, localizer 28 left from Wiggles, if able. And the reason I wanted, I requested this so early is if you look here, Wiggles is out here. I'm flying this way. I don't want to go all the way to Pebbles and then come back. I, I want to be able to just take it for now. But his minimum vectoring altitude should get me there. The question is... He's going to have to get me there sooner. 21385 Niner Tango Whiskey. Um, it's going to be tough to get me there. That's I, I, don't, yeah, I don't see if they're going to be able to do it. Just because of the way I got to come in here. So, 
circle approach. TBM eight five nine or Tango Whiskey. How's the weather? <clears throat> TBM eight five nine Tango Whiskey. No call approach. Roger. Turn right. Heading uh, zero seven zero. Back to Wiggle. Descend and maintain seven thousand. Zero seven zero down seven thousand. Direct to Wiggle. TBM eight five nine or Tango Whiskey. All right. So heading mode. Good night, Tango Whiskey. We're going to be a vector to Wiggle. You can expect direct at about uh, two zero miles. I will expect that uh, zero seven zero at at the meantime. 859 or Tango Whiskey. Alright, so we're going to go heading mode. We're going to go 8070. Okay, and then we're going to go altitude down to 7000. That's good. And so what we can do since we're getting vectors now, we can go, look at this, we can go procedure, we go activate approach, boom, and it's already given us a direct to wiggles here from here. So we're not flying that now, it's just giving us a direct to wiggles. So so he's going to he's gonna vector us there, but at any time, I'm going, I can just basically switch over to nav mode and we'll be direct there. So our altimeter was um, oh two nine nine or seven. I was trying to blank there. Two nine nine or seven. Tango whiskey for heading zero nine zero. You can now expect the direct Charlie. A zero nine zero will expect that eight five nine or Tango whiskey. All right, so zero nine or zero. All right, so what I'm going to do now is if we go, watch, we go to flight plan, we go to ch 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 all the way to Charlie, we hit activate to direct, hit enter, and now that you, now you can see that I'm, now I'm, he said expect direct to Charlie. So there we go, we're 8,000. We can slow. We can start our descent a little slower now. Speed's checked. Altimeter was two nine nine or seven. That's set, and two nine nine or seven. That's set. All right. Minimums. Let's let's talk about the approach. Minimums are eighteen sixty mist. We're gonna climb to three thousand. Right, let me bring it up. Climb to three thousand. Climbing right turn to five thousand. Um, if you have the heavy 360 to the Salinas Vortac radial 264 uh, to Salinas and Vortac and hold. Let's. Why don't we practice a hold? Why don't we practice a go around? I got time. Let's do it. Um, this will be fun. So what we'll do here is real quick. I'm going to put it, the CDI real quickly and I'm going to put localizer. Actually, it, it'll automatically switch that for me. So I'm going to go to nav. Number 9 Tango Whiskey, proceed to exit Charlie, cross Charlie at above 6100, clear the stradium, localizer and we do it, last approach. I crossed Charlie 6100 or above, cleared for the localizer 28 left, straight in 859 or Tango Whiskey. Alright, so I wasn't able to do where I wanted to do, but what we can do here is we're clear direct to Charlie, we can go ahead and switch to nav mode. Okay, GPS is active. We can just send down to um, 6,100. All right, and what we can do here is set um, Salinas 117.3 and VOR number two. Switch it over 117.3. All right, and we can watch it positively identify, or we can listen to it for ourselves. Okay, that was, to me, uh, I have a positive identification. It also shows it in here as well. So what we're going to do, so we're going to fly, climb 3,000, and then a turn and then a right turn to 5000 via heading 360 to intercept the 264 radial on the e hey what's up uh what's up man 
I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this approach and just I'm gonna do a mist and I'm gonna go mist on this one. Uh, so just for practice here. So six thousand one hundred and six thousand one hundred to Charlie and then we're cleared for the approach. Can actually arm the approach now. So we're GPS and we are armed for the glide path. Even though it's a localized oh yeah, it's a localizer, so that doesn't matter, but so once we hit Charlie, we can descend down to 5,300. All right, let's go ahead and set 5,300 in. And it's coming up on 10 seconds. Actually, we can do that now. Actually, let's go pretty close. I don't know where it's flying to right now. This is kind of odd. All right, let's doing something weird here. Heading mode, and that's one thing you never do is forget to sync up the heading first. Okay, let's descend down to 5,300. Yeah, it was tracking something weird. That won't even go to. All right, let's take it off approach mode. Can't go direct to Charlie anymore. It's just doing something way weird right now. So we're going to activate that part of the leg. And then we'll set the nav in there again. All right, GPS is back on. So Rodney, we can go down to 4,600. We're way high, as you can see. We're never going to make Rodney by 46, so we'll go 4,100. Coming back on the power. It's picked up the localizer, as you can see. All right, so Zilku uh, at 3,200, or 3,020. All right, let's see if we can. And we're way too fast, way too high. It's okay, we're going to miss it anyways. So we're looking for, right now we are um, just short of Zuku, and we want to be at 3,000. Look at this thing, just tracking this thing back and forth. It's going crazy right now. Okay, lights coming on. Tango whiskey contact Monterey Tower 118.4. 18.4 9 Tango whiskey. 18.4. Should have had this already. Well, four. There we go. Okay, flaps one. Now we can descend down to 1860. Landing gear. Okay, gear coming out. Monterey Tower, TBM 859 or Tango Whiskey, localizer 28 left. TBM 859 Tango Whiskey, Monterey Tower, runway 28 left. Clear to land, winds 20086. Clear to land 28 left to 859 or Tango Whiskey. All right, so we can get down to 1860, all right, which we're doing pretty quickly here. And then we are missed, uh, are missed. Um, approach point is going to be 1.3, which is ITMTB 1.3. And I should set that to 1900 actually. Okay, flaps full. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, 
Alright, we have the runway in sight. Gears down, flaps are down, lights are on. We've been cleared to land, landing checklist completed. Okay. I have the plane. I set heading for 360. And missed approach altitude is going to be 5,000. We'll set that in as well. If I could just, see, I can't really see that. All right, that's 5,000. And then we'll go, uh, we'll set this for, and then we'll put that on 264 or 084. All right, that'll be our inbound. There we go. So climb to 3,000, right turn 360 to 5,000, and intercept the 084 um, inbound radial to Salinas hold. We'll do a left hand hold at 5,000 on the 084 inbound heading. 5,000 feet left turns. Okay, we're really high here. It's pretty normal for this approach. You gotta kinda like Put in a fairly steep climb. All right, let's go ahead and hit our go round. Okay, pull throttle up or pull up. Throttle set, gear coming up. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Flaps Landing coming up. Gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Well. Flaps need to come up. Okay. And then All right. full flaps up. Oh the departure of seven four fox drop. Monterey Tower, TBM 859 or Tango Whiskey's on the mist. Okay, looking for 3,000. All right, two, one to go. TBM 9 Tango Whiskey, uh, turn right heading 330, climb and maintain 3,000. 330 up to 3,000, 859 or Tango Whiskey. Skyline 3474 Fox on Big Scary Bunch, thank you. Okay, up to 3,000. Do you say, oh. I think he said 5,000. Was that 330 up to 3,859 or Tango Whiskey? No, 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 Tango Whiskey, that is correct. And contact the local departure 121.3. 121.3859 Tango Whiskey. Okay, so we're already above 3,000. Okay, so we're already above 3,000. Try to trim this thing out a little better. Narkel approach, 859 or Tango Whiskey's on the mist. Hello, my 859 Tango Whiskey, Narkel uh, departure, Roger, when able to request, we'd like to try the same approach again or something else. Yeah, I'd like to go hold as published, if able, 859 or Tango Whiskey. TBM 9 Tango Whiskey, Roger, clear the 270 VOR via proceed direct. Climb and maintain uh, 5000. I direct to Salinas, we'll hold as published up to 5000, 859 or Tango Whiskey. All right, we are direct to Salinas. Hold west is published, expect the clearance zero two two zero. Time now zero one five one. We'll expect further clearance zero two two zero eight five nine or Tango Whiskey. Robin and Tango Whiskey, if you'd like to leave the hold prior to the time, just advise. I will advise eight five nine or Tango Whiskey. Thanks. All right, five thousand. Okay, so what I need to do here is set. Going the wrong way here. There we go, direct. Okay, so we're set for direct. That looks good. I'm going to spin my. Yeah, big sky departure. 
Okay, there's 5,000. I'm a little bit unstable here, trying to do everything at once here. Eastbound. Just got himself to walk at me, fine. You always free to go all knife unless specific left side ahead. All right, let's put a yard dampener in. Help me out here. We're starting a right turn eastbound. 74 Foxtrot, thanks. Come and sell Fox, thanks. United 350 Capel Tower, turn right heading 120, runway 34 left. I wonder if I could do this hand flying. Kind of cool to try. I, I'm direct. I'm a little high. I'm trying to overcorrect and trim a little better. Alright, that looks a little bit more stable. At least take my hand off the, the stick for a second. Direct to Salinas. I am currently... Uh, let's see. I need to put my bearing in there. No, that's not what I wanted. And team me. Yeah, there we go. A little bit high. Let me get my. All right, so I'm 7.1 miles out. I want to take this away because this is a crutch. Sometimes I'm trying to look at that hold. I'm trying to do a proper hold. Let's take that away over there. So my outbound heading is going to be 264. Um, I have a little bit of a tailwind here. That'll make my outbound leg. I'll do a minute, 15 seconds to start. Let's see where we're at there. Pull back the torque a little bit. All right, four miles to go. All right, three miles to go. So he he gave me like a thirty forty minute. Uh, time. I'm not going to chase the course uh, deviation line as we're getting closer here, so I'm just going to maintain my heading. I'm going to do a about a 20 degrees bank here, and then I'll do it like a 30 degrees bank normally. Actually, I take that back. I'll do 10 degrees here and then a 20 back in. Just about to pass over it. Okay, we're gonna make that left turn yeah, two six that. four now. Here we go. All right, it's gonna be yeah. Sorry, it's gonna be twenty degree bank. I don't know what I'm thinking. Twenty degree bank outbound and then thirty back on. Just because we're coming at it from a different angle. Nicola Patch, good evening, United 350, 2500, uh, climbing uh, 4000, and uh, heading 120. United 350, Nicola Patch, good evening, we're contact, climbing and maintain 15000. Uh, oh. Get rid of that, my bad. Yeah, it's still just hand flying this thing. Ball us fails, hand fly. I look for two six four timer coming out and start. Minute fifteen, here we go. United three fifty seven zero miles from Modesto, so I'm heading one four five. When able proceed direct Modesto. Uh, one four five and to direct Modesto United to three fifty.
trying to trim this thing out so I can look at to other things on my list here or on my charts if you don't have it perfectly trimmed it's not going to stay straight anyways there's minutes 10 I'll go 5 more seconds turn back inbound to pick up the 264 radial which is 084 inbound here we go Trying to do that with two hands wasn't easy. If I had my mouse in my left hand, it'd be a lot easier for sure. All right, here, picking up the radial now. It's a little bit late on the turn. And start the timer. There we go. We're looking for one minute to cross over, and we'll adjust on the next one. When F8 or how much we need to. So we went 115 on that one. All right, altitude's just a little bit low. Having fun yet? All right, coming up on the VOR now. I'm not chasing. The, I'm not going to chase the needles. All right, there's one minute. Let's see if this thing spins around. So we got one minute. We'll wait till it spins around. Wow, this is taking us longer to go inbound. Oops, I'm not paying attention here. All right, there it spun around. It took a minute 30. It's very odd that it took... Oh, I'm actually paying attention to the wrong needles here. I need to get rid of the flight directors when I can. Just because it's it's kind of in my way here. There. Um, it took us longer to come inbound with a tailwind. That doesn't make sense to me. 500 feet, way too high. All right, we're looking for 264 outbound. Oh, you know what it was? Is because I was faster going outwards. I remember I I there was at least ten to fifteen indicated speeds. You can actually tell now I'm one ninety, I was one seventy coming inbound, so that's a good thing to do with it. Alright, start one minute timer. We'll we'll keep our speed up. We'll keep it to one eight five if we can. Or one eight zero looks good. Meanwhile, let's hit our procedure. Select approach. No, not activate approach. Select approach, and it'll be the localizer. Let's get back on course here while I'm doing that. It'll be the localizer 28 to wiggles. Even if we do get. 350 contact, NorCal approach 120.9 or 5. To 0 0.9 of 5, not to 250. That's all good. That's all good. And load. On knuckle approach, not at uh, 350. 13,700 coming, 15,000. 
9350 North Gallup Road, Tracker, best of altimeter 200 under 6. All right, there's one minute. Let's turn in. It's still a little bit high. I think I got it trimmed so I can take my hand off the stick for a second. So, wiggles. At 350. Are you able to direct Archie? I from a different 350. Yeah, at 350, Roger. Is there a reason you filed slant whiskey? All right, way too too late on that turn. Uh, I told by mistake, United 350, sorry. At 350, Roger. Clear direct Archie. I'm direct out to 350. At 350, so you are now capable then. Slant Lima should be the appropriate fix. Uh, affirmative, yes, Slant Lima, you're not at 350, Roger. Alright, that was a sh terrible hold. Narcal approach, TBM 859 or Tango Whiskey. We'd like to retry the localizer 28 left from Charlie Fable. Sure, 859 or Tango Whiskey, Roger. Fighting 090 zero, right after Charlie. Climb maintain 6000. Up to 6000, 090 zero, zero on the heading radar vectors. 859 or Tango Whiskey. All right, 8000. Right. At 350 VFR traffic, 2 o'clock. 080. Zero, zero. Bound altitude gates, 13,600, type unknown. I'm looking at the ticket down. 71 Alpha Golf open clearance on request. We're going to set. Actually, that's not right. We want to go direct. I got to climb here because I'm. I got to be at 6,000. Um, we're going to go direct. Enter. So we're direct to Charlie now. Okay, there's 6,000. And 110.0, let's go CDI, well, 110.7 I meant, that's already in there. And why am I climbing so damn high? Pay attention. And then we're going to go courses 278. And you have 350 request descend. At 350 descend, maintain 11,000. All right, there we go. 11,000 and 350. So we're going to have to do the procedure turn, which is fine. We'll go outbound to zero, nine, or 8 once we get to Charlie. And why am I climbing still? Very five nine or Tango Whiskey, but direct Charlie, cross Charlie, that are above 6,100. So uh, nine or Tango Whiskey, climb and maintain 6,100, go direct Charlie. Cross Charlie at 6,100, close localizer, only 2 left approach, report procedure, turn inbound. Up to 6,100 until Charlie, clear for the localizer 2 8 left at Charlie, and we'll report inbound on the procedure. 859 or Tango Whiskey. 781 Alpha Golf, clear to the Uniform Kilo India Airport, solid 5 departure. Alright, so Transition. what we can do here, we're going to have to go. Climb at least sit except maintain 5,000. Departure frequency 135.1, squawk 1541. Direct to Charlie. Alright, so 6,100 autopilots coming on. And heading mode is going to be set for now. R1 Alpha Golf, feedback, correct. Now at 350, contact approach 135.65. Uh, 2565, uh, 250. It's because I got the direct to Charlie. Um, actually, that was my bad. My direct to Charlie uh, should have been different. Sure okay, so let's go heading mode. But I screwed that up. I do not want to do this. So I should have done CDI localizer 2 on uh, the 140. 
Roger at 7000 and could um, ILS to it left at 350. 140, and we're looking at 140, 12.7 miles. Okay. So let's go left just a little bit, and then we're going to. Okay, that's. I was thinking about trying to identify Charlie, and I, I've all of a sudden just drew a blank and went to my nav, or my GPS, instead of using Salinas, which I was supposed to. Okay, and why are we still climbing here? Out. All right, so we're heading mode and descending 500 feet. Alts captured 6,100. We're heading for Charlie. It should should be coming into effect here now, so we'll start turning for 140. Let's get rid of this. That way, it just it's, it's this could be a crutch sometimes if you're just looking at a map instead of problem solving without the GPS. All right, so we're looking for 12.7. We'll make our left turn for a zero, 09 or 08 at that point. Currently, we are on DME and there we go. And timer can come out. Okay, we're looking for 12.7. Can't really see. Uh, 12.3, there we go. Okay, make my left turn for Two zero, right. 0, 9 or 8. Take to be a Charlie Bravo. Okay, as you can see here, we're doing, we're now we're making our procedure turn outbound. Okay, now we can switch over to Localizer one. Okay, one minute timer. Okay, once we get back to Charlie, we can descend down to. Um, f after we depart Charlie, we can send it down to 5300. We are cleared for the approach, so. Um, so basically, after we're on our inbound on the procedure turn, we are going to report inbound uh, on the inbound procedure. Charlie. Right, there it is. Let's turn back Charlie, around. Charlie, Norco. There we go, like 235. Uh, Charlie, we're a P28 Alpha Flank Golf uh, just out of Watsonville, climbing through 2005. Now we'll go 240. Uh, we would like the uh, coastline VFR transition yep. north. That's why you don't do that. Petaluma. You gotta wait. Don't be such in a hurry to. Charlie's walk 5720, maintain Put VFR. Put your heading mode in properly. 5720, maintain VFR, once here, Charlie. Okay, so we're looking for, we got two things for us. We're looking for um, the 140 from Salinas, which is this bar here, when that's on 140. When we are on, Charlie is 18.8, .8 and we've Mr. lost the Charlie DME. Maintain VFR. Maintain VFR once you're Charlie. And Orcal approach, uh, Turkey once you're Charlie. I neglected to give you my cruising altitude, which is going to be 4,500 feet. Remember, once you're Charlie, Roger. Maintain uh, clear class Bravo airspace still advised by Norcal. Once you're Charlie, Roger. Yeah, take that away. Don't need that anymore. 
Okay, we're picking up the localizer back. Again, 18.8, .8, and then on the 140 from Salinas. Oops. We'll know we're good. That was weird. 781 Alpha Golf, Oakland Tower, runway 28 right, quick for takeoff. Oh, that, I guess I went a little too quickly there. Okay, we're still a little ways away. Norco Approach, TBM 859 or Tango Whiskeys, four miles from Charlie inbound. Minor Tango Whiskey, Roger. Okay, looking for 18.8, .8, and then again, 140. Pretty close, and then we can descend down to 5,300. Okay, we're in heady mode, descending 800 feet per minute. Alts captured 5,300. We're looking for 16 miles. 5,300, looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and pull the speed back now. Just a hair. Landing lights coming on. They already are. Good. Okay, looking for 16. We're not going to make it to 5300 so what we can do is go to the next level 4600 next all right so 4600 and that's at 12.8 one alpha golf contact north out departure so just into a little bit quicker now Okay, we're looking for 12.8, 4,600. And then from there, 4,100. All right, continue to descend. Alt captured 4100, and looking for 11.5. Okay, we got our tower in standby. Now our standby com one. United 350, contact San Francisco Tower, 120. Yep, I would definitely agree as well. Love it. All right, so we're looking 11.5. A full stop, 859 Tango Whiskey. 859 Tango, Tango Whiskey. All right, now we can send down to 3000. And a 350, San Francisco Tower, runway 2A, left, third one. I didn't get that in just in time. So 3,000 by 8.6. We're a little bit behind, so I just in a little bit quicker. Let's go ahead and switch over. Monterey Tower, TBM 859 or Tango Whiskey, localizer 28 left. Or 859 or Tango Whiskey, Monterey Tower. Wind call, runway 28 left, clear to land. Clear to land 28 left, 859 or Tango Whiskey. All right. So we're at 8.6. Now we can just down to 1860. Landing gear. Okay. Landing gear. I'm getting a little bit fast. I, I waited a little Landing long gear. to adjust my speed, Landing but that's gear. fine. Gear. We still got plenty Landing of time gear. here, actually. Landing gear. Landing gear. Yeah, yeah. Okay, looking for. So we can descend down, like I said, all the way down to 1860, and then 1.3 is our go around. 
or missed Landing approach point. Gear. Landing gear. Okay, flaps one. So we're still at 6.2. Gear coming down. Hey, okay, we make it clear to land. Landing lights are on. Gear is down. Inert set. I should have put that on a while ago. My bad. And flaps. We're going to set these down in just a second. All the way. Full flaps. Okay. Adjust the throttle. We're looking for about 10 or 15 on the torque. Let's take our Autopilot's off, my plane, adjust to 5,000 feet. Okay, 1860, minimum. we're at minimums, so now we need to look. Okay, runway's in sight. Been clear to land, gear is down, flaps full, landing lights on. And landing checklist completed. This approach always keeps you up really high for some reason. So. Kind of got to descend a little bit quicker at this point. It wants you to, it tells you to stay at 1860 and then to 1.3. Well, you can see I'm at 3 miles. If you're at 1860, 1.3, you're never going to make this runway. I, I mean, I'm shoving the nose over as it is. Pretty bad. Think rate. Think rate. Think rate. Think rate. Think rate. Think rate. Five hundred. Okay, looking good. Let's put the power back in. Uh, November one zero, Charlie. You better be squawking four five zero zero. Squawk five seven two zero. All right, a little bit uh, more stable now. That's not what it's outputting, uh, and I'm not able to tag you up on your on your present code. It's outputting a four five zero zero right now. <laughs> okay, really four fast. Star Charlie, Roger. It got a little fast here. Keep coming back on the power. Yeah, it's just uh, one zero, Charlie. I don't know why I'm saying four. Yeah, get on the center line there, buddy. Air speed. San Francisco clearance, Merrick 1456, ready to pick up IFR to Las Vegas. That was a bad flare. I flared way too early and, on that. And uh, who was that calling for clearance? That's uh, American 1456 out of San Francisco. Okay, American 1456, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown here. There's quite a few things wrong. One is your call sign. The ICAO identifier for American is going to be Alpha, uh, Alpha Lima, not Alpha Mike Echo. The second thing is you followed an RNAV routing here, and it looks like you have your navigation equipment type set of slant whiskey. Uh, so you need to look those things over. Make sure you follow the, the proper equipment code for your uh, for your aircraft. Uh, fix your call sign and then give me a call back. Also, once you do that, you'll have to refile. Roger, we'll fix that up. Must have hit the wrong uh, equipment suffix. Thank you. 35 or Tango Whiskey left to enable tax to be alpha to the ramp. Remain this frequency. Left when able, alpha to the ramp, this frequency, 85, 9 or Tango Whiskey, thanks. All right, we'll go down to Monterey Jet Center. Flaps are up, pedo teeps are up, or off. Taxi lights coming on. Verify that we have. Once you're trying negative, we still appear to be squawking 4500. Zero, zero. Right, stand by one second, actually. Your weather radar is in standby, it looks good. And check her. Let's pause that for a second so I can do my clear runway checklist while I'm taxiing. Come on, Sarah. Try. Looks like it was an issue on my end. Got it all fixed now. You're uh, good to go. San Francisco, American 1456 should have a fix. American 1456. Uh, negative. You still appear to be logged in with the same call sign, and uh, you're still, your current present flight plane is in there. Roger. 
All right, trims. American Forge 56, you understand what I'm saying? Your call sign is incorrect. You need to log out and log back in to fix that. There's no way to do that without disconnecting. Net 350 taxi. Be Juliet, Alfred and Rant, please squawk mode, Charlie. All right, trims are set. Uh, Juliet, Alfred and Rant, squawk mode, Charlie, Net 350. And here's Echo, I'm gonna make a left here. Okay, San Francisco clearance, American 1456, third time's the charm, let's try it now. American 1456, clear to Las Vegas airport, stick for departure, intel transition, then it's filed. Okay, flaps are up, check, transponder's not set for ground. Other radar has been set for standby, so we are good to go. Okay, American 1456, clear to Las Vegas, stick for departure, intel transition, then it's filed, climb Via the SID, except maintain one zero thousand departure one three five point one squawk two one four one. Whatever that noise is, it's ridiculous. Fourteen fifty six. Just want to verify. Uh, it's not really a big deal. It's actually going to be the stick for departure, uh, not the cystic departure. I'd hate to give you some disease. Uh, rest of your back, correct? Stick four. Okay. We were wondering how to pronounce that. So stick four. For one Sierra Charlie contact NorCal one three five point one. All right, brakes coming on. We're seven eight one Alpha Golf contact Oakland Center one. Going to flight two, idle. Two. We're gonna set that for two minutes. And that's started. Okay, we'll do our shutdown checklist. Actually, I don't know. I was thinking about maybe doing another flight okay, here. Casper clearance, TVM seven five six Tango Bravo, looking to pick up our IFR over to Denver. But uh, let me just do a proper engine There's shutdown. Seven eight one Alpha Golf, Oakland Center Roger, San Francisco altimeter two nine nine five. Okay, everything's down. Zero Charlie North Cal approach router cleared to the San Francisco class Bravo airspace via the coastline transition. Oh yeah, I gotta definitely shut this down because I gotta check my preservation why it's not working. San Francisco altimeter two nine nine five. All right, we're waiting for two minutes and then we'll do a shutdown. Number seven five six Tango Bravo. Casper Clarence on a quest in by. Stupid when you get tower view that it puts the actual tower, like actually in the tower tower itself. Monterey, actual. This is downtown Monterey right here. Casper three departure. It's on the other side of here is Pebble Beach. Raider vectors. Beautiful golf course. That's filed. There's actually a few of them back in here. It's going to be nice golf courses departure. to play, for sure. They're not cheap, though. All right, clear to Denver via the Casper 3 departure. All right, that should be our two minutes there. Climb one full 14,000, expect flight level 210, 10 minutes after, and squawk in 5741, 5, 6, Tango Bravo. 6, Tango Bravo, rebound, correct. All right, cut off. Ox boost pump should come on. There it is, and turn that off. Everything else is good. And do a proper shutdown. Oh, I forgot to turn off the initial separator. Shit. All right, so we got to wait 40 seconds now for that to fully close before we throw down the the crash bar. Um, and then we gotta maybe figure out another flight. So. Any suggestions if anybody's still left? Throw some out. Any kind of departures in the PE area or wherever. I wonder if we could actually look into. Let me just see. I don't have that view. Okay, hold on. I tried again. Let me try it this way.
Yeah, I can't see whether it's open or not. Alright, that should be good. And a crash bar coming down. Alright, that is a complete shutdown. That was a flight from Santa Barbara to Monterey with a missed approach planned. Hold. Eh, they weren't the best holds. And then just um, a little bit of practice. It still needs I still need some practice on everything, on all the procedures. I'm getting the G1000 set up properly and quickly in a timely manner with also doing a comms and all that stuff. Um, but uh, other than that, I didn't feel like it was too bad. Just now I'll figure out where should we go from here. How about up to Napa? That would be a kind of a good flight. It's fairly short. Oh, you know what I got to do is check my maintenance here. Something's causing me a problem. It's all good. That's not going to cause pressurization. That's not going to cause pressurization. Avionics shouldn't cause any problems. Lights definitely not. Airframe shouldn't. Oh, wait. Look at that. So I have, I do have a pressure, I do have something broken. How did that break? That is why I couldn't. Are you kidding me? That's sixty thousand dollars. Wow. Condition is worn still. How does that? How does that get worn? This plane has got literally. Three hours of flight time on it. Maybe a little bit more. Alright, well that was my pressurization problem right there. Something in the air. That cabin pressure vessel condition. Oh, shoot. I just it charged myself another 60,000. It didn't do any good. That maybe if I clicked it again, it would actually go to new or something. All right, everything else looks good. All right, so let's plan a flight up to um, STS. How about that one? Ooh, it's IFR up there too. Nice. It's IFR with two and a half miles of visibility. Ooh, that'll be fun. Okay, let's do that. Let's go uh, Sky Vector. We're going to do the Monterey... F oh, hold on. Let's see the Monterey 4 departure. I don't know what the Toro 7 is. And we're not going to get that. Alright, so it'll be the Monterey 4. And then to Woodside OSI. So we'll put that in there first. OSI. Actually, it's called MRY4. Yeah, it's not going to put it in. Okay. So, OSI4, OSI, that's good. What's our altitude restrictions here? So that's 5,100. All right, let's look at what kind of approaches we have. Um, winds, there's no wind reporting. Let's 
so. Do we do the VOR? If we fly, if we if we file the slant lima, we're not going to get that one. Let's see what other kind of approaches we can do there. Alright, I'm going to skip that one. It's not a good angle for us to come in at anyways. Um, so localizer 3-2. And that circling is available, but is it available at night? It doesn't say anything about it. So we can go from Point Reyes and join the ILS. So that's a good one, or we can try a different one. Let's see. Again, another Point Reyes. All right, we'll just use Point Reyes as our endpoint in our flight plan, which is right here. Actually, we don't even need to do the Monterey 4. We can do this way. Just trying to see, if, should we take Victor 2-7? Let's go Victor Alright, so it's going to be Shuey to point res, Victor 27. I don't, this thing's going to have to go away here. So this is just going to be like that. That's fine. That's our, that's good. And what altitude do we want to take? Hmm. See, maybe we should go to Reno or something. I'll just keep what we got. Altitude. So so we know 5,100, uh, or 6,000 is our minimum there. Yeah, I want to get, let's see, 12,000 at least. I want to test out my cabin pressure here. Alright, we'll go 14,000. Maybe we should go VFR. 
No, because then we can't do the approaches. All right, never mind. I'm trying to outthink myself here. Um, and then we'll use K APC. Okay, flight plan is filed. I'll be right back. Alright, actually I'm just going to cancel. I just, I got to do other things. Can't fly anymore. Anyways, anybody's still watching, thanks for uh, joining me. And I am out. Until next time, see ya.